usual for you, or is it starting? Uh, the butterfly is starting to get get to you now that first game in Manhattan is almost here. Uh, it's business as usual for me right now. You know, it's kind of yeah. that calm before the storm. I think just you're just mentally getting ready. I mean, there's things that I'm doing right now as far as you know what what my wristbands look like, what my call sheets look like, things like that that I'll have on my game day checklist as far as what things I need to have in order uh, so that guys can go out there and have success. But really, you know, as you look at a, a Wednesday practice, you're still tightening up some details of things. Uh, you know, we, we'll have meetings, you know, as far as our positional meetings and some walkthroughs and just like everybody else does. But when we meet as a staff, you know, we really start getting down to, you know, the nitty gritty of, you know, who, what's the rotation look like? You know, what, what are some things you got to expect out of this player, that player? And, and that's when you really kind of start getting into that game mode. But I'm, you know, most of the time I'm pretty even keeled and things like that. And when, like I said, when Saturdays roll around, you know, I like the mental, you know, chess match between, you know, staffs and things like that. But the players go execute and make plays, and, and that's the bottom line. And as a coach, you're you're managing and you're and you're 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 monitoring body language. You're looking at specific things the defense may be doing or things that they may adjust, and, and you're making your adjustments. And that's the fun part about it. But the the truly, you know, thing that gets me excited just watching the guys go out and make plays you know because they've worked all the, the all the work they put into it and, and, and Saturday's finally rolling around that's that's their that's their time from a preparation standpoint what, what kind of challenges have you guys seen so far from Nichols and the limited that you have seen them uh, they're, they're they're a fast team I mean they they're, they do a great job I've, I've watched a number of interviews of their head coach and you know when they finished their final scrimmage this summer and uh, it looked like they were flying around, you know, just just based on the things he was saying, you know, about the defense, and they had a number of turnovers and picks defensively, and obviously on the flip side of things, you know, you know how is the offense doing, you know, and just hearing him speak as a head coach, and he's a seasoned guy. Um, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to get into his mindset to kind of see what type of guy he is, what his demeanor is, and he's calm on his on his interviews, and you can tell he's been there and done it, and they've played in big games, he's coached in big games, and uh, I, I like what I see on tape from them. I mean, they're, they're a team that I think is, is fast, and they have some really good players on their team and, and things like that, so defensively, you know, we expect to see, see a team flying around, you know, and then that's what you that's what you want. You want to, you want to play against people in the in top competition, and uh, you know, Nichols is coming in here, and, and by no means we're 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 not going to look past them. I mean, like I said, they've played in a number of huge games over the course of uh, their tenureship and coach being there, and um, and obviously they've come and, and played Big 12 schools and SEC schools and things like that. So uh, I'm excited. I look forward to it and uh, get, re get ready to get home. Landry Weber obviously went on scholarship. Would you mind just sharing some thoughts about him as a player and what he adds to that position group? A uh, very smart player. Um, you know, he's very, you know, he, he's kind of quiet in the room. I'm still trying to break through yeah. some of the guys' shells just as far as, you know, they can they can talk. You know, we, we really want them to be engaged in meetings and to, and bounce things back off each other. Uh, that, that, that makes us a better room when guys can ask questions freely and, and discuss a play, a route, a concept, whatever it is. And so Landry has done a really good job. I mean, you can tell he put in some work in the summertime. I mean, yeah. he... You could tell from his route running to getting in and out of breaks to uh, his ability to communicate with the quarterbacks. He, he put in time to truly work on his craft at receiver, not only just with Coach Dawson and his staff working out and lifting weights and running, yeah. but he, 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 he ran routes. I mean, he, he probably was on the jugs machines. I mean, he did a lot of things to prepare himself. And then obviously he's fortunate enough to get on scholarship. And, yeah. um, you know, that was surprising me. I was kind of walking down the hall and, you know, he was smiling and <laughs> asked him what was going on. And, you know, he, he said, Coach, I put yeah. him on. So that, that's awesome for him. And uh, we look forward to him moving forward too. You've obviously been around Coach Kleiman for a while. Different challenge, you know, a Big 12 school, not coming off a national championship, all sorts of different things that he had in the past. But does he still feel the same to you? Like, does he act the same here that he did a year ago at North Dakota State? Yeah, yeah, he does. I mean, he's Coach Klein is going to be who he is. Uh, he's going to be true to himself. And at the end of the day, I think whenever you know you work for someone like that, you know what to expect daily. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. to expect when you come to work. Uh, you know, our expectations of ourselves and, and his expectations for us as, as his assistants. And you know, it's, it's set out there. You know, it's it's pretty standard operation when you come into work yeah. and you have a guy that you know had success and. And you know, like I said, any any time that you know you have a challenge, you know, with a new coaching staff and things like that, 
there's always things that you're trying to weed through and, and find yeah. out. And that's what we did in the spring. You know, we were able to find out some things, be comfortable with who we have on the roster, and then obviously some new guys that, that showed up and things like that. But once you get through a camp, a, 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 the first summer camp, and you kind of see what you're working with, now you're just ready to get rolling. You know, because now we're in game prep, we've been in game prep, um, and now you feel like you're you know, you're on the brink of getting into that 2019 season, and, and we're ready to roll. So. Coach Kleiman had mentioned six or seven receivers, really, that you guys feel comfortable with playing mm-hmm. out there. Do you try in game one to be a little more liberal with the substitution patterns just to get guys reps? Yeah, and it depends. I mean, I'm kind of a game flow guy, a feel guy, but throughout the week, I'm really trying to monitor how guys are doing, you know, not only physically, but mentally, you know, are, are they really truly understanding our game plan? Do they understand what, what, what we ask of them from a day-to-day basis? You know, all the things that don't change throughout the year are their technique and fundamentals. Those shouldn't change. It should only get better, if anything. Um, and obviously, opponents will change weekly. So I just look for guys to understand what we're putting in that that week in, in particular, you know, with Nichols, and then also just how are they, how have they grasped our system over camp? Are they making the same mistakes that we had, you know, practice five to now? You know, because right now it's 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 game time now. It's it's time to roll. So all that stuff is kind of we still evaluate, and I personally still evaluate guys. And I tell, I told him yesterday, I was like, guys, I'm evaluating your body language. You know, I'm trying to see how you react to adversity during a practice. I'm trying to see if you're communicating. I'm trying to see if you're vocal, if you're talking to your teammates, if you're in the huddle as you break the huddle. Are you are you communicating to the receiver next to you? What's going on and things like that. So, you know, the evaluation to me is always going on. But you end up getting into a flow with with who who your starters are, quote unquote, and then who's in a rotation specifically. Uh, you know, throughout the course of a game, and, and we'll, we'll we'll kind of find out as as, as we go. Speaking.